my fellow Geminis. I am a Gemini cusp sun and I have it like pretty much everywhere else in my chart. So let me try to pull myself out of this one. So Gemini, sun, moon, or rising coming up for you in 2023, work, money, and resources. What's coming up for Gemini's 2023, work, money, and resources. There seems to be a flood of money coming in, a flood of opportunities, a flood of people coming in. So if you're working on social media, your following may be growing rapidly. Okay. Exponentially. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Stay in the limelight. If you are looking to have more speaking engagements, you want to be promoted at your job. You know, you want to become a trainer in any way you want to get into like teaching leadership, publishing, anything like that. Broadcasting. Okay. Your podcast, whatever it is, you're going to want to go after that. It's basically like the following is already there. The interest is already there in what it is that you may have to say. So people are just kind of like waiting. It's an opportunity, I think, for you to also get information back from your, let's just call it a general audience, okay, to have a better understanding for yourself of what it is that people want. If you've been running on your own insight a lot of the time, that's that's fine. That's great. We need to produce what it is that we feel intuitively we're supposed to. However, it's not always in perfect alignment with what a majority of people would want to hear. So it's always interesting to get that feedback. And you may be reconstructing a lot of the work that you do, a lot of the information that you put out, a lot of the presentation that you give. You may even be moving from one line of work to another, one field to another, one degree to another, switching it up a bit because that's what the people are ready for. And that's where your money is. So a lot of information coming at you also from people who want to network with you, partner up business. They want to make you a business partner. They want to participate in whatever it is that you're building. So it feels like all eyes are on you and it feels like people are seeing you as money and as prosperity. Okay. So dot your I's, cross your T's, watch those contracts, you know, check that fine print. But all in all, it looks like you have the master keys. This looks fabulous. All right. So let's take a look. Oh, I would also say invest. If you get some opportunities to invest, especially around like October, maybe more toward the end of the year, this could be coming up for some of you even as soon as May. If you have opportunities to invest, so whether it's in a business, it's in, I don't know, you know, stocks or even real estate, maybe something like a vehicle or a a boat, you know, I mean, there could be a lot of different things for a lot of different people, but that may be a good time to do it because it is an investment that will sort of pay for itself, you know, very quickly and expand in the next two years. Gemini's category number two, love and relationships. What is going on in love and relationships for Gemini's in 2023? Okay. I see somebody coming in for you. Those of you who are open to meeting someone new, really more in the middle of the year. I'm not saying they weren't here previously, but it may not reach that point where you're ready to full on commit. Uh, I see commitments happening accidentally. Some of you Gemini's tend to be that way. You know, you're not looking for anything serious. You're trying to keep it light, trying to keep it light. Sometimes this just happens. So this does look like a soulmate connection. This does look like a very serious contract. You can't just blow those off and keep them in the very light category as you can with other relationships. Okay. So this may happen on its own and it may become really clear. I'm hearing evidently clear, like around June, July. Other people may be uh, already in a committed relationship and we could see that these committed situations may go through a bit of a pivotal point. Pivotal point is an opportunity for two people in a relationship or however many people you have in your relationship to either come closer together or to go further apart. Okay, so it's a bit of a testing phase. I feel fine about that. You'll do what you need to do. Bottom line is this, everybody needs to be growing, okay? A lot of you may also be feeling that you're pulling away from family this year or your very tight inner community, okay? Or like if you're very involved in like a church or whatever, your mind is expanding, you know, you're changing a lot. And a lot of people are reaching out to you. And and as your world gets bigger, sometimes that old world uh, that you were such a big part of is becoming very suffocatingly small, okay? And that's okay. So let yourself go, let yourself go and let them go. Let's look at category number three, which is hidden messages your blind spot, and any overall theme that we may be getting for Gemini's in 2023. 
23. You know, I feel like people are trying to take your words out of context. And so whether there's gossip, let's remember this, okay? If somebody has time to talk about you, it's because you're doing something that's worth talking about. And if they make the time to do that, it's also because they're losing and they cannot possibly get up to your level. And they're threatened, you know, they're threatened and they're jealous. And so they may be, if people are feeling threatened by you, I think you may want to look at who's talking and see what they have that you could take for yourself, because clearly they have something that's vulnerable. And so this may be a good time for you to cash in on what's yours. All right. So Gemini's looks really good. I'm happy to say, if I do say so myself, have a wonderful year ahead.